Hello everyone, it's uh, Chard here back again on the Mind Unleashed channel. Mm, this Will Smith situation, I don't know. Flying off the handle, to me, never solves anything. It just causes more problem. I have siblings that fall off the handle and it never gets them anywhere. But it's not about them, this is about Will Smith. So, I get it. You feel like the man insulted your wife. And we already know how emotions kick in when it comes to loved ones, blood. I get it. I understand it. You know, but you got to think rationally because going after somebody because they use words is just words. Now, when it comes to being physical, like touching or damaging one's personal property, I get it. That's way beyond words. With words, you can learn how to control yourself because you can take it for what it is and just ignore it. Defending oneself because you've been physically harmed is different. Defending your life, fighting for your life, all that stuff, I agree. You need to get physical. But words are just words. They can't physically hurt you. They can emotionally hurt you, but if you got a strong emotion, then you don't have to worry about that kind of stuff hurting you in any way. And I've been to some stages in my life where words sound like they could have been damaging. And if I took actions of all those words that sound like they could be damaging to me, then I don't know where I would be. But I choose to ignore those words and just move on. Because people are always going to talk about you. It doesn't matter if you're famous or infamous. People are always going to say something about you. They're going to make jokes about you. My skin tone, just the way I am, I've been made so many jokes of. The color of my eyes. I mean, I just can't attack everybody because they don't like the way my eyes look or they don't like my skin tone or whatever the case may be. And Will Smith being in a position where he is, you know, he's an idol. People look up to him, whether it's kids, older folks or whatever, they look up to him. This is not some guy working in some warehouse doing a nine to five. Nobody know about the warehouse guy. So if the warehouse guy take offense to whatever his coworker says, then who's gonna know about it? But when you get into the limelight now, it's a different story. You gotta handle the situation more rationally. You can't jump off the handle. Because if I was sitting in the audience, and first, you laugh at the situation. You thought it was funny. Till your wife reacted, and then you decide to react to her reaction. But I wouldn't have jumped up on stage. I would have waited till commercial break, walked backstage, still wouldn't smack the dude, but said, look, man, I know you're a comedian and that's your job to make jokes. But my wife is suffering from an illness and I would rather you not make those type of jokes. You know, even if I'm not around, just keep that joke to yourself. Give him some daps and say, look, man, all right, have a good show, man, for the rest of the show. Then go back to her and say, don't worry about it. Everything is cool. But that's how I think you should have handled it. You know, just cool out. Don't fire off the handle. You're on national TV, man. No, you're on world TV because everybody sees this around the world. We're not a small world anymore. You do something on stage, it end up over the world instantly. Then you're all over the media. You're all over social media. And you're all over the world. And you see, it's not necessary because now you're having the ripple effect of a slap. So your reputation is tarnished and now you got to figure out a way to rebuild it. It's all on you, pal. And I know you're probably not watching my video, but that's okay. I just want to state my opinion on this situation. It's not necessary to react to every little thing that people say. Whether it's to you, your kids, your wife, your house, your car, just cool out. And not just Will Smith. I'm talking about everybody else. Words will never hurt. If you live by the saying that says, sticks and stone will break my bone, but words will never hurt me, trust me, it works. People say a lot of things about me, but I just choose to ignore it. Now, if the physical try to harm me, then I'm going to get into war mode. That's when the military guy is going to kick in. I got to defend myself because this person is trying to end me. So I got to try to end them first. But I'm not trying to promote violence. I'm just saying is there's a time and place for your actions. 
So that's what I want to say on this topic. I know I haven't been on Mind on Leash in a long time. And, you know, life situation just been going on. But I'm back on the scene and trying to state my opinion on this particular topic with Chris Rock and Will Smith. I understand, like I say, you might have took offense to it. But the guy's a comedian. That's what comedians do. They make joke of people. They make joke of situation. They just make jokes. People make jokes of the president of the United States. And he probably have the power to wipe these people off the planet. But you got to understand his jokes. They make jokes on Saturday Night Live. Keel and Peel make jokes of people. I mean, there are comedians. That's what they do. You can't take offense to every little joke that you hear. Even if it sounds like it's trying to touch your nerve. Laugh at it, man. That's what life is all about. Take a bad situation and make laughter out of it. It makes it easier for you to bear it. Find the silver lining in that dark cloud. All right, so that's going to be it for this topic. I just want to state my opinion on this whole situation. And I have a whole bunch of videos coming out for stuff that I have my own opinion on. Things that sucks and all kind of different stuff. So if you want to see those videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button if you like this video. Thanks for taking the time for watching. Have a good one and I'll see you next time.